I've been trying to get on the Obamacare website for New Mexico since the weekend, and it's been so buggy, I have not even been able to get past one field. So we're going to give it another shot today. Oh, and it just so happens that this .gov site is up, while all the other ones uh, that are linked in my video I put up earlier today are down with that message stating something to the effect of, due to the government shutdown, we can no longer provide services on this site to you at this time, blah, blah, blah. So here we are at the website. What's changing in 2014? You can get lower costs on coverage, essential health care benefits covered in the marketplace, pre-existing conditions will be covered. I suggest you read the bill. Those conditions, pre-existing or not, are dependent upon your age and basically your usefulness as a cog in the machine. And if you haven't read the bill, I suggest you read it. It's a long, boring read, but all of this is lies. Now, right up here, it says, where can I read the Affordable Health Care Act? And that brings you right over to, let's see, right here. Where can I read the Affordable Health Care Act? And it says right here, full, <clears throat> right here, full text of the Affordable Health Care Act and Reconciliation Act. And it says, this is not the official version of the bill. And we provide it for your convenience. In other words, they're filling you with a bunch more lies, just like they've been telling us for the past three years since this bill was passed in 2010. And, oh, by the way, just for the record, I did read up to about page 400 of that bill uh, that was passed by the House and Senate. You know, the one that Nancy Pelosi said... Well, we're just going to have to pass it so you can see what's in it. And I was just appalled. This is an abomination. All right, so here we are. I live in New Mexico, so we'll go to the Be Well New Mexico site. If it'll come up. Start enrolling now. Okay, this is the New Mexico Healthcare Exchange. Let's check out the online cost calculator. See what we get here. Okay. We'll go to New Mexico. Annual income, let's just put yes, one and one. No children. <clears throat> no price. Okay, well, I've hit the submit button several times, and we're not going anywhere here. I'm not getting a price. I'm not getting a quote. Okay, well, here it comes up now. Oh, here's my results. Um, it says, because my household income is 435% of the poverty level, um, I'm not subsidized. My premium is $2,635 per year with zero tax credit. It automatically puts me into the bronze plan. And um, here, if I go down to the silver plan, it says your out-of-pocket maximum for silver plan, not including the premium, can be no more than $6,350. Hmm, your out-of-pocket maximum for that plan. <clears throat> Whether you reach this maximum level will depend on the amount of healthcare services you use. Currently, one in about four people use no healthcare service in any given year. 
and it says a silver plan has an act actuarial value of 70 percent this means and get this this means that for all enrollees in a typical population the plan will pay for 70 percent of expenses in total for covered benefits with enrollees responsible for the rest so you've got a 30 percent deductible oh and by the way up here it says in most states, insurers can charge a tobacco surcharge of up to 50% of your total premium before the tax credit. It says the credit can't be applied to the tobacco surcharge. So in other words, my $2,635 premium would go up to about $3,900 with a 30% deductible on all covered costs. So let's actually sign up here and see what we get if the site doesn't crash. Okay. Start shopping. Get started. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use a dump email address. It's an email address that is never used by me. No, no, I do not want to have news and updates sent to this address. Okay, I'll use the username Cassidy, who is, this is not a valid username. Uh, Cassidy1. It's not a valid password. <clears throat> the affordable health care exchanges for the state of New Mexico are not working. Okay, I'm over 50 and I'm paying approximately $400 a month for my husband and I and one of his kids for partial coverage for certain medical conditions and I have a pretty good plan I've got a $500 annual deductible after I meet that deductible all of my expenses are paid outside of the 20 or $30 doctor visit copayment okay so based on where I live in New Mexico my individual premium will go up to $583.97. Get that. Oh, and not let, let's not forget the 50% increase in premium for smokers. And that brings my premium up to $876, which is approximately... 219% over what I'm paying now. Oh, and look here. If you're over age 30, you can't get catastrophic coverage at all under this plan. And I do have it now with my current plan with my employer. So a $10,512 annual premium plus the $6,300 out-of-pocket expenses that brings my annual medical insurance expense up to sixteen thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars divided by my annual income 
of $50,000. This health care plan is going to cost me 34% of my gross income per year going to cost me 34% of my gross income per year. Age. In conclusion, Obamacare or the Affordable Health Care Program is neither affordable nor is it health care. It will cost me, an average person, $16,850 out of my gross income before taxes of $50,000 a year for the privilege of what basically amounts to self-insurance. This health care legislation is being forced down our throats. It benefits no one but this fascist regime and the mega health care and pharmaceutical companies that it supports. This government is out of control and this legislation, if it inevitably ends up enforcing the people to enroll in these programs, if it cannot be stopped, defunded, or repealed, will bankrupt and devastate the middle class. There will be no more middle class in America. I look forward to your comments. Please share this video. And also, I look forward to anyone who's actually been able to sign up to this program to leave your comments regarding the costs and how it will affect you in the comments section below. Thank you.